Oh, jeez. Knock, knock. He overslept, in, didn't he? So, anyway, uh, I just like to to say that the video before that, obviously, this is not the intro to, to the game, but you know, it, it's it, it takes place after a uh, a part where I'm not allowed to show on YouTube, and uh, let's just say that. It, it was funny, but at the same time, I, I really didn't like it, so, you know. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't anything special. As a matter of fact, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't stick it into that one gameplay, and I just stopped at a really, at that part only. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad I, I decided to not include it in that one part, and then I just waited some time and do it again, but... All I'm just saying is, if, if those, of, if any of you guys weren't like an, like annoyed, you know, just watching that part of me, how I am reacting, as I've said before, I don't like this kind of thing. It's not my cup of tea, so you know, take it, take it with a grain of salt. That's just how it is, and just move on. And uh, I mean, and for those, and for those of you guys who don't know and stuff, you don't really have to watch that part before. But I mean, if you're just curious and stuff, like I said, it's just for my reactions, right? You know pretty funny in, in, in and in of itself so I'm pretty happy with with it so yeah so just saying that you know if you're wondering how, why I started out like this instead of the usual it's because the other part happened to begin you know with that part rather than separate you know so that's just how it is <clears throat> anyway on to the game knock knock <laughs> I know it's a sound effect but I just like to say it <clears throat> who's there? Oh, God. I just said knock, knock, and who's there? But, I mean, it's just the sound effect, and then who's there? But, you know. Yeah. That's not how the joke goes at all. Oh, my God. The game even picked up what I said. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I already said who's there. More importantly, what time is it? He overslept. Even more importantly, what day? I am suddenly catapulated into wakefulness by both the fact that the knocking still hasn't stopped and the fact that it's noon. Oh. On a school day. Now fully awake, I can remember why I was napping. Better not give that excuse to Mattel. Well, why, you should have set up an alarm clock, you know? Sorry, I wasn't in class. I was experimenting sexually with my girlfriend and it tired me out. Yeah, that'll go over well. That previous... Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, just to be safe. Th that previous, like... That previous thing that I just read, I'm probably going to have to cut that out because I don't think I could read it on YouTube. I'm kind of nervous about saying it. Say, saying it here, especially if it's going to be on YouTube, so yeah, I, I think I might have to cut it out. So if you don't wonder what was cut out, it was this. You'd have to probably just look it up somewhere if you want to know what it was, so I apologize, but you know. I wonder how long this knocking is going to continue. Guess I ought to answer the door. Oh, it's Kenji. I'm strangely, I'm strangely surprised to see Kenji on the other side. I thought it was, I thought it was Misha for a sec. And uh, Shizune. Though it appears that Kenji is surprised to see me. What the hell are you doing here, man? Well, I was sleeping. Kenji nods in understanding. Knocked out, I see. I told you to be careful around that Iverazaki chick, man. This is the sort of thing that happens when you aren't cautious. <clears throat> he makes an attempt to look at the back of my head. Did she hit you with something? Or was it a drug? Stop trying to touch me. Kenji produces a flashlight and shines it in my eyes. You got a concussion. I wasn't knocked out. Maybe you just don't remember. This conversation isn't going anywhere. No, I just had a tiring morning and, morning and fell asleep. Whatever, man. If you want to be in denial about this, I guess I can't stop you. 
But you gotta watch out for that girl, man. She's not safe. I moved my chair a bit, so. What? Mm, excuse me. She's not safe to be around. She's one of their most sinister agents. If you're not careful, there's no telling what could happen. She's brought down stronger men than you know, you know? Oh, than you, you know? Sorry. What the hell are you talking about? She's not an agent of anything, and she didn't knock me out, okay? I also highly doubt that she's brought down anyone at all. Kenji looks almost offended. I have no idea why. You don't believe me. That's cold, man. Real cold. I'm just trying to look to look out for you. That's what friends do, you know? We're friends. I had no idea. I mean, we're friends? I had no idea. That's how you're supposed to read it. I thought it was him talking, so... Then again, I wonder if Kenji knows what being a friend even entails. I feel something like a pit, like pity for him standing there before me. Maybe he does think he's looking out for me. I know, I know. I'm sorry about that. Thanks for the warning. I held out my hand as a sign of peace. Kenji shakes it gingerly like my hand could possibly be on fire. There's an awkward silence for a few seconds before Kenji remembers that he's still shaking my hand. Anyway, I need a favor. What kind of favor? I'm out of money. Money. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it. No, you aren't. You've got money kept in your desk drawer under a black, black notebook for emergencies. Did you ransack my room? That's not important. I don't need money anyway. He adopts a very serious tone. I'm about to undertake a major op, op, a major OP or op. I don't know. Uh, it'll blow the whole conspiracy wide open if I'm right. But it's dangerous, so I need you to do something for me in case I don't come back. Uh, sure man, anything. What the hell is he planning on doing? Should I be telling someone about this? If I go missing, wait three days and then mail my journal off to the newspapers. It's hidden in my, in my room under a false bottom in one, in one of my desk drawers. How do I get into your room? I don't have a key. Kenji looks at me like I'm crazy. So pick the lock, you know how to do that, right? It's an important skill to learn at a young age. Uh, yeah, of course, I know, I, I know how. I'll be sure to uh, do that for you if you go missing. I don't think I want to read Kenji's journal. Either way, Kenji seems pretty happy that I've agreed to do this thing for him. Great, man, great. I'll see you around, I got stuff to do. And he's gone, dashing down the hallway. He made it seem so final. I hope I don't have to carry out his final wishes. <coughs> <clears throat> Shaking my head, I close my door and walk back to my bed. I guess I should go to class, if only to catch the last half of the day. But I've come this far without going to class today. And I did want to read more of that Hawking book Mutau lent me. Oh, like the Stephen Hawking's book? I think so. I'm sure he'll understand. This time, the noise jerks my attention away from my book. As an experience not, not unlike being woken up. Who's there? <clears throat> Me, aren't you glad? Oh. The voice is muffled through the door, but unmistakably, it, but unmistakably Emmy's. I hop up and open the door, smiling broadly. Hey, nice to see you again. Emmy grins back, staring up at me from her wheelchair. Yeah, you, you, you would have seen me earlier, but the damned elevator wasn't working. Had to wait for them to fix it. You'd think they could keep it in better order, but no. I chuckled a bit at her vexed expression and invite her in. She wheels in easily and with my help, she hops onto my bed. There, much more comfortable than that stupid chair. A sigh of content, contentment hangs in, in the air and for a minute we both just stare at one an another. 
It's at that point that I notice the circles, uh, the circles under Emmy's eyes. They're not that that dark, but they they definitely weren't there before. Before I can ask about them, Emmy fixes me with a mischievous stare. So I couldn't help but notice you weren't at lunch today. In fact, I don't think I saw you at all. What happened? Hmm. Fell asleep. I actually didn't wake up until lunch, and only then because Kenji woke me up. What ha what had you so tired? Hmm. Strenuous workout this morning. Slightly uncomfortable too. Emmy coughs a half laughing, half embarrassed noise. <laughs> Remind me not to do that again. They're always gonna see it, right? <sighs> no problem. Wasn't exactly great for me either, to be honest. But then again, I really don't blame them. We'll just avoid that from now on. Yes, please. Are you er, still sore? Jeez. Emmy stares at me in disbelief. What? It's a legitimate question. Of all the questions I never thought I'd be asked, that's that's one of them. Well, I didn't ever expect to have to ask it, so we're even. Emmy laughs at this. I guess so, huh? Well, since you asked, yes, I'm still a little sore. Ah, damn. We're never doing that again. <laughs> no arguments from here. You know, you want to know something? This is kind of reminding me, this happened to me when I was little, where uh, where I like took the, the biggest, like fattest shit of my life to the point where it was like so hard that it was like stuck midway and it was so goddamn painful. And my, my mom was there like, you know, she didn't, she didn't do anything, but you know, like let's just say and I didn't have any indigestion or like constipation it just came out so goddamn hard that it was really hard to push it out and by the time I did there was just some blood in the toilet and around my you know the uh the bottom area and like you know and that, and after that moment it was it was sore for most of the day only to get better later on but it's like if you want to know what it feels like to be like, you know, to be a an anal raped or something, as I like to call it. That's how it feels. And it was not pretty. Just can't believe it actually happened to me. But of course now I eat a balanced diet, so it's not going to happen again. So, you know, I'm just saying, I know what it feels like. <laughs> A yawn es escapes her and I raise an eyebrow. Tired? Emmy nods sleepily. Haven't slept well. Not sleeping well? I can't tell that she didn't mean to tell me this either because she gives a little start. She gives a little start like she's just been caught lying and ha hastens to add. It's not a big deal though. What's the trouble? Emmy shrugs and refuses to elaborate. Stressed over exams. Another shrug, but after a pause, Emmy nods hesitantly. Er, yeah, I guess. Actually, that's why I stopped today. She begins to look more and more miserable. Not so you'd notice, of course, but her eyes are on her lap. She's fidgeting, she's fidgeting and her voice is quiet. We, uh, we need to stop hanging out so much. Huh? Why? I mean, he takes a deep breath like she's been practicing this. Because you're too much fun to be around. And I can't concentrate when you're near me. With exams coming up soon, I just can't have that distraction. Otherwise, my grades will be pretty lousy, I'm afraid. I could help you study. She smiles at me, clearly unhappy with the situation. I'd love it if you could, but we wouldn't actually study, would we? I mean, even now I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but I kind of just want to, uh, oh, she wants to f do it again? <laughs> I was about to say it, but this is on YouTube, so... Not converse. Ah, overwhelmed by my rugged manliness, I understand. <laughs> that earns me a grin, at least. Emmy shakes her head. 
Idiot, you're full of yourself. Well, I am pretty irresistible. Er, more or less, I guess. So that's the situation, Isayo. I have too much fun around you, and if I'm going to go into exams prepared, I need to be alone. Hey, that's okay. It really seems to have been bothering her. Besides, it's only a couple of weeks and we'll still see each other in the mornings and at lunch. We can just hang out at school, no problem. And after exams, we'll go on a date to celebrate their being oh, we'll go on a date to celebrate their being over, okay? Emmy grins, pleased by this proposal. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. As if to signal the end of the conversation, so that she leans in and kisses me. The rest of the night is not spent worrying about exams. <laughs> Oh jeez, it's weird how easily Emmy, Emmy and I can keep from seeing one another after class now. <laughs> Actually, I'd venture to say that it's vaguely disturbing. As easily as we've become together, we seem to have split apart without much trouble. Well, I guess that's not exactly true. We've both been pretty bummed after that last night together. And we get to see each other every morning for our runs, and just our runs I might add. Lunch too, I especially enjoy lunch time with her. We have plenty of time to talk about everything outside of school, whereas the morning runs have become increasingly business-like. I think it's because Emmy wants to make up for our foolery in the storage shed. But no matter how much we joke at lunch, I can't help feeling a little worried about her. She seems distracted more often and I've caught her fidgeting nervously more than once. Never figured Never figured, figured her to be someone who cared that deeply about exams, but they certainly seem to be taking their toll. Even though they haven't even started. This is just the run-up, the deep breath before the plunge. <clears throat> Tomorrow the real trial begins. The real trials begin. Uh, or the real exams, anyway. As for me, I actually don't feel that worried about exams at all. I'm not sure why, I mean, they're pretty important. My scores here will determine my odds of getting into a good university. Hell, if I'm too ca cavalier now, it could spell doom for my academic career. But going into them, I feel confident that I'll come out the other side okay. Wutao thinks I've got the science examination locked up at any rate. Or as he says, the last thing that should give you trouble is my exam. Hisaya it's it's way it's way beneath your talents. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, it is Mutao who's telling me this. He praises me. He pra his praise of me carries the veiled implication that anything less than perfect from me would be a disappointment, which has actually caused me to fret more than I should about the exam. It's for that reason that I find myself in the library after class, poring over the textbook. Pretty simple things to look over, some formulas of velocity, a few bits about friction. A walk in the park compared to my dreaded English exam. Never was good with languages. Yeah, just like me! I was never good at, good at Spanish back in high school. <laughs> As I flip through my notes one more time, my mind begins to wander. After these exams are over, things should get easier. Soon we'll, we'll, gradu we'll be graduated. Then off to college, hopefully. I remember my abortive attempt to find out what Emmy plans to do after high school. Hmm, she avoided the subject pr pretty de deftly, as I recall. Heck, it seems that just about every time I push too hard, she dances around the subject. Or distracts me through other means. Like a few days ago at lunch when Rin wasn't around. Heh. <laughs> oh jeez. I've done it. I've, I'm startled from my reverie rev, rev, by y Yuko's triumphant shout. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Gah! <laughs> Yuko seems mortified at my sudden starting. S starting or startling? I think it's startling. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, I just got, and I really wasn't, and it's just that. 
as she stutters and moves to quickly calm her down before she gets too agitated. Whoa, hey. My words seem ineffective. <clears throat> Yuko continues to work herself into a complete frenzy. And it's a library and I shouldn't be. Easy there, just calm down. And really, I'm, I'm setting a bad example and now I'll get fired because I can't do anything right. This is the first time I'm like seeing her like little, like crying face. Yuko! Shouting seems to work though. I draw the ire of several other students studying in the library. Yuko snaps to attention like a soldier who's just heard the captain bark an order. Sorry, sorry. Calm down, it's okay. You just startled me a little, and that's only because I was daydreaming instead of studying. So really, you got me back on task. This is a complete lie, but it seems to work. Yuko takes a deep breath and seems to calm down a little. Though she keeps shifting around with a nervous, en with a nervous energy that seems awfully familiar. So what's got you so excited to anyway? Huh. <laughs> The Yamaku Cat Burglar. Oh, she found the books. To, to her credit, Yuko manages to convey her intense excitement in a whisper. I think I know who it is. I got an anonymous tip as to their identity. So I did some spying and I think the tipster was right. Oh really, and who was this er burglar? Yuko shuts her mouth, shaking her head decisively. Nope, I can't tell you that. Why not? It's between me and the burglar. Oh, I can't risk you warning him that I'm on to his game. He could tip his hand early and blow town. Then I'm left with no perk. When did Yuko start, start talking like a hard-boiled detective? I wouldn't warn them, why would I care? If you've got to ask that question, then you don't need to know. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. <clears throat> Congratula congratulations, I guess. Thanks. Uh, what for? The, uh, cat bur burglar thing. Yuko nods and smiles appreciatively. So, studying for exams? Well, that was the plan. I'm not having much luck, though. Really, is it because you can't find the book? I'm really sorry. I've been meaning to clean the shelves up for weeks now, but I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry. Whoa, wait. It's not that, I've got my, my book right here. To illustrate the point and hopefully calm Yuko down, I show her the textbook in front of me. My mind just keeps wandering is all. Is it because of the noise in here? I'm trying to be more strict about the noise levels, but I can't bring myself to yell at people. I mean, aren't their lives hard enough without me throwing my authority around? No, it's not the noise level either, I promise. I'm just... Hell, I don't know. Worried about Emmy. Worried about us? Worried about what happens after we graduate? Emmy's been kind of weird lately. What do you mean? Well, you know how we're dating now? I just don't know that we're actually, you know, a couple, or at least I don't know what that we're beyond friends. Though friends normally don't do the sort of things we do. Well, they, they do, that's called friends with benefits. <laughs> kind of. Or like a fuck buddy, kind of way. I really hope YouTube doesn't, but I'm, I'll just say it like that. It's like kind of innu innuendo-ish, I think maybe I could get away with it, but, you know, it's not direct, but I just hope nothing bad happens. Physically, we're a couple. Y you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna cut that- I'm not gonna cut that part out where I said- y You know, never mind. I was just gonna say I cut out the part where there's like this one line that says sexual- sexually and stuff. <coughs> but then I just realized- just make the video 18, for 18 years and up, you know? Like, maybe then I could dodge it, the, the, the YouTube thing, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> Coupling, at least. 
It's like every time I try to find out more about her or about what she wants to do with her life, she dodges a question. Like the other day, I was talking to her at lunch about some schools I've been looking into. And I asked her, have you looked into any schools lately? She shrugs in response, says no, and when I ask why not, she says that she doesn't think that far ahead. I asked why she had that policy and she... I suddenly realized what I'm about to start describing and wisely decide to, calm, to clam up. She what? Or if she changed the subject, wouldn't talk about it. Maybe it's an uncomfortable subject for her. Or she, or she just doesn't think it needs explaining. Yeah, but it's not just that. Every time I try to find out what's been bothering her, she changes the subject too. It's like she likes being with me, but not getting close to me. Now that I've said it out loud, I feel worse. You could digest this bit of information. You know, it seems to me that you're more serious about this than she is. I can almost feel my stomach twist into a knot. She's right. That's exactly what it seems like. But is that really what's going on, I mean? Sorry, I'm just t talking nonsense. You shouldn't take my advice, you barely know me. I'm just the librarian, I'm, and I'm single, so you can imagine I can't know what I'm talking about. No, I think. I think you have, a, you have a point. As much as it hurts to even consider it, Yuko seems to try desperately to find a way to soften, to soften the blow somewhat. Er, look. I'm probably wrong, but if you want to be sure of how obviously wrong I am, maybe you should just talk to her. Get some time alone and just ask about it. And don't let her change the subject either. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Or maybe I should just enjoy what I have. We have fun hanging out after all. And the runs are nice and the other activities are nice and talking to her is nice. Do I really need to get closer to her? What I've got right now is pretty good. But that's silly. I want to get closer to her. I want to be able to help her out with whatever is bothering her. But maybe I should wait until after exams are over. Maybe she'll brighten up once the stress has passed. If she does, then I don't need to worry about it anymore. But if she doesn't, well... I'll cross that bridge when, it, when I come to it. I thank you go for advice and head back to my room. Maybe I'll be able to concentrate more on my studies in there. Alright, so... I've, I've decided I'm probably gonna call it off here, because, I mean, I could play for an hour and 30, but I feel like there's a lot more stuff coming up, and I don't want to read, uh, I don't want to go through, because I already went through that other something before, so, <clears throat> I'm just gonna call it off here, I also have some stuff I want to work on, and, and everything, so, it's probably best I stop right here and, like, you know, go over something. I will say I did have fun and stuff, even though the... That scene or part wasn't to my liking. It was still it was still pretty nice in a way. Creating a safe state. Yes. Progress is simply safe. So I honestly all th everything kinda went well, even though I'm just not too fond of it. So yeah. 